for an all new edition of Bow here on Bow coming up. We talk about Glee star Leah Michelle trying to support Black Lives Matter, but she gets caught in her own crossroads with her own cast, former cast mate, told her shreds and tell about herself, and she didn't even know what to say and know what to do. All this is all new. Starts right now. I've been your host, Kid Dix. Glad you could join us. Join in the conversation using the hashtag Bauer here on Connect. Talk about Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle, former Lee actress, tried to support Black Lives Matter, but her cast crew wasn't having it, wasn't feeling it. But yes. Being a part of a show that was so fun and funny and entertaining, but also so important. Turns out the Glee set was anything but gleeful. We've got the details in today's Us Daily. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. Glee actress Samantha Ware accused former co-star Leah Michelle of making the show a living hell. In the case of that show, that show was just a sh of difficulty, largely because what do you do when you're 18 years old or 19 years old and you wake up the next day and you're world famous? Now, Ware responded to Leah's tweet about the death of George Floyd. She wrote, George Floyd did not deserve this. This was not an isolated incident and it must end. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Now, Ware responded to Leah's tweet saying, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions. That made me question a career in Hollywood. Now, where appeared in the sixth season of the hit show and appeared in 11 episodes. I mean, so many people talk to me about that all the time. They want to see Glee come back. And I mean, I think it's definitely a little too soon, but when whenever Ryan Murphy feels like the time is right, you know, he knows my phone number. I'll be the first person there and I'll be like crying. I'll be so happy to see everybody. It'll be like the best. Now her tweet unleashed a flurry of reactions from other Glee stars. Davier Snell, who had a minor role in the 2014 episode, also quoted Leah's post writing, girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. F you, Leah. Meanwhile, Alex Newell, who played Unique Adams on the show, commended Ware for speaking out by sharing a gif of a RuPaul's Drag Race contestant and tweeting, child, we ain't got a thing to lie about six years later. Get a day. Now, Drag Race alum William Belly quoted Newell's tweet and added, Leah treated me so subhuman, I left the set of Glee. Pass the popcorn. We really, uh, honestly, all do get along, thank God. <laughs> so we get to have a lot of fun with each other. Uh, the worst thing I'd say about being a tour is, you know, definitely it's hard being away from our real family. This is our extended new family, <laughs> but being away from our real families, I think, was, you know, kind of difficult for us. Now, the response that got the most attention, however, belonged to Amber Riley, who starred as Mercedes Jones in all six seasons of Glee. Although she did not directly comment on Ware's allegations, she did share three telling gifts of herself around the same time, including one of her sipping tea. Oh. What? She's the best. I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. She's been there for me so much through everything. And so I'm so thankful this year for those friends and for my family. Aaliyah, who has not publicly responded to her former co-star's tweets, played Rachel Berry on every season of Glee, which aired from 2009 to 2015. Well, she has generated a lot of backlash this week with some co-stars saying their experience of working with Leah was anything but gleeful. <laughs> You're a legend. Well, well, that's not the general opinion these days, but thank you. It all started when Leah tweeted her support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Co-star Samantha Marie Ware's response, accusing Leah of making her first television gig a living hell. Her tweet, I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would bleep in my wig. What followed was a social media storm and Glee co-stars speaking out. I am not going to say that Leah Michelle is racist. That's not what I'm saying. We've already seen other people say that it was not the most 
a comfortable environment. Heather Morris tweeted, was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. I'd rather have like a smaller amount of really quality friends than a hundred, you know, people that are like half friends. And you are looking well. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll make my way to the back of the bus. Within 18 hours, Michelle was fired from her spokesperson post with HelloFresh. Leah's Scream Queen's co-stars Ariana Grande and Kiki Palmer also unfollowed her on Instagram. But it's not the first time Michelle's been called out. Naya Rivera wrote about their strained relationship in her 2016 memoir. Zantan and Rachel hated each right. other, um, but they also had like this love-hate sort of relationship. And I feel like that's what Leah and I had while we were on the show. You did document a couple times where you felt like she was unprofessional. Definitely. On the set. Definitely. Fake it till you make it, right? Leah, who was expecting her first child in the fall, eventually issued an apology that some called too little too late. She says the backlash has made her, quote, focus specifically on how my own behavior towards fellow cast members was perceived by them. The greatest thing about Glee was it taught everyone to just be proud of what they look like and who they are and what they want to be. And that's what always made me so proud to be on Glee. And that's what you missed on Glee. Hey. Leah Michelle issued an apology Wednesday morning after her Glee co-star, Samantha Ware, accused Leah of making her first television gig a living hell. Some people talk about you like they know all about you. Here's what went down. Last week, Leah tweeted about the death of George Floyd, a 46-year-old man in Minneapolis who died when a police officer pressed his knee into his neck for more than eight minutes. The actress wrote, George Floyd did not deserve this. This was not an isolated incident and it must end. Black Lives Matter. Several days later, Samantha, who played Jane Hayward on 11 episodes of Glee in 2015, responded to Leah's message writing, Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would sh** in my wig. Among other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. And Samantha wasn't the only one to speak out against Leah. Davier Schnell, who guest starred in a 2014 episode, tweeted, Girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. F*** you, Leah. Then on Wednesday, without naming names, Leah referenced Samantha's claims on Instagram, writing that the responses she received have made her reflect on her own actions. Quote, I don't remember ever making this specific statement, and I have never judged others by their background or color of their skin. That's not really the point. What matters is that I clearly acted in ways which hurt other people. The actress added, I apologize for my behavior and for any pain which I have caused. The 33-year-old who announced she was expecting her first child with husband Zandy Rich in April noted that preparing to become a mom has made her want to be a better person. I know I need to keep working to better myself and take responsibility for my actions so that I can be a real role model for my child. I know we haven't spent a lot of time together this year, but I thought that we were close enough to be honest with each other. Leah's apology comes after the meal kit delivery service HelloFresh announced on Tuesday that they had ended their partnership with her effective immediately. But this isn't the first time Leah has been the subject of her co-star's frustrations. I need this job. Hey, wait, what's going on? Back in 2016, Naya Rivera, who played Santana Lopez on Glee, spoke to ET about her relationship with Leah. Santana and Rachel, hated each other, right. um, but they also had like this love-hate sort of relationship. And I feel like that's what Leah and I had while we were on the show. It's only been a few days since Glee star Samantha Ware called out her former co-star Leah Michelle, accusing her of, quote, making her life a living hell after Leah posted a tweet supporting Black Lives Matter. Since then, there's been a lot that happened. Leah ended up losing a brand deal with HelloFresh. The actress then issued an apology that reads in part, the responses I received to what I posted have made me also focus specifically on how my own behavior towards fellow cast members was perceived by them. Ware then seemingly reacted to the apology tweeting, 
perceived, perceived, purse, open your purse. Other Glee stars also reacted to the initial allegations from Samantha. After one of Leah's Glee co-stars, Amber Riley, seemingly reacted to the drama with some gifts, she was then on Instagram saying she doesn't give a about the situation because people are dying. I don't give a about this Leah Michelle thing. I really don't give a I don't. I don't want to be asked about it. I'm, and I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about everyone else. I, <laughs> I was don't, like, we talked about it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I don't give a <laughs> People are out here dying. Heather Morris also doubled down on Leah tweeting in part, Let me be very clear. Hate is a disease in America that we are trying to cure. So I would never wish for hate to be spread to anyone else. With that said, she was unpleasant to work with. Very much so. For Leah to treat others as she did, I believe she should be called out. A former Glee producer named Marty Noxon, who worked on one season of the show, also spoke out claiming there were more than one bully on the set of the show. She wrote in an outdated tweet, Hey, I'm all for calling out bad behavior. That said, on Glee, there were lots of bad actors who were not women. People in the industry know who I'm talking about. Why aren't they calling them out? She continued in another deleted tweet saying, It seems to me that women are the first to go under the bus, but a lot of males get away with being the bullies in chief. How come we let them get away with it? She later clarified after deleting those tweets, writing, I wish to clarify an earlier statement I made and delete it because it was poorly phrased. When I said bad actors in reference to my work on Glee, I was using the word actor as in people who took bad actions. I wasn't referring to anybody on set specifically. Aside from Glee stars, her former ragtime understudy Elizabeth Aldrich also spoke out claiming she was awful to work with when they were younger. She said, I was at Leah Michelle's understudy in ragtime. She was absolutely awful to me in ensemble. She demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any way displeased. I used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do. She was 12. She was terrifying. While a lot of people piled onto Leah with negative comments, she did get some support from Glee co-star Iqbal Theba, who tweeted, A lot of people are assuming that at Leah Michelle mistreated me. Let me state it clearly that I was never mistreated by her. And some of the cast were treated badly, then she apologized for it, which is wonderful. But being called a racist is too heavy and unfair a burden for most of us, especially in these troubled times. So please be compassionate, careful, and responsible before we accuse anyone of this horrible thing called racism. I love each and every one of my fellow cast members from our great show. Dean Geyer, who played Leah's on-screen boyfriend in Glee, also stood up for her, telling the Daily Mail, Leah is one of my favorite co-stars that I have had the pleasure of working with. She is extremely hardworking and super fun to be around. That's so right there, Leah Michelle being criticized by her former castmate. She didn't know how to take it. Well, let's see what you people had to say about this. There seems to be a lot going on right now when it comes to Leah Michelle from Glee. She is being exposed left, right and centre and being dragged all over Twitter for her past heinous actions and her utmost hypocrisy from, you know, her recent solidarity kind of post and this is a very interesting video like this information is crazy hey guys it's Marad Morali hopefully you guys are doing well today if you haven't already clicked that button for daily and consistent content head over to my Instagram subscribe to the channel and let's get into this quick fire video well not even quick let's take our time for this one because this is actually very interesting and very important but basically Leah Michelle's castmates on the set of Glee have you know called her out for saying you know here you are posting solidarity for Black Lives Matter and what is going on in the US and you know showing your support but when it came to working on the show with you you literally said to me you know I would want to shit in your wig and these crazy intense micro micro aggressions and the gag is other cast members other you know people that were acting on that show are now co-signing everything this other actress has said and it really is turning into an up, utmost frenzy let's just say and i'm completely here for it because a lot of people's hypocrisy are really is really you know showing a lot of hypocrisy but Liam michelle has been accused of bullying co-star samantha ware and making her first television gig a living hell Michelle, who played lead role Rachel Berry in all six seasons of Glee, tweeted in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, writing, George Floyd did not deserve this, this was not an isolated incident and it must end. Co-star Samantha Ware, who played student singer Jane Hayward in the sixth season of Glee, seemingly found the sentiment of allyship to be very ironic, alleging that Michael's treatment of her onset was full of traumatic microaggressions. In a Twitter post, she wrote about Michelle's tweet, saying, LMIO, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you 
told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would shit in my wig. Wow. Amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Questioning, you're questioning your own value as a human being, as a person, because of your own co-star who is treating you like absolute crap. This is just disgusting. It seems that Ware wasn't the only actor who alleged experienced hostility from the show lead. Black Lightning actor Davia Snell, who appeared in the 2014 um, episode of Glee, tweeted on Monday, wouldn't um, let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I don't belong there. He then added a very direct F you, Leah. So wow, people are coming out. It all takes is just one person, to be honest with you. Um, then we have Josh, who played a student at rival school Dalton Academy in one of the episodes of Glee, who responded directly to Ware's allegations, saying, I remember when she yelled out at you when she was doing a scene with Chris, who played Kurt. You legit did you legit did not do anything. Her apology to you even seemed fake. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. You don't deserve that kind of treatment. Then we have Alex Neal, who's co-signing this, an actor on the show, who said, um, get a jade. And then we also have... Um, Amber Patrice Riley, who played the main cast member Mercedes, also shared a series of gifts seemingly in support of Ware's original allegation, the most notable of which she is sipping some tea. Finally, Riley posted another gift of her saying, let's move on with a series of hashtags supporting the Black Lives Matter. So, you know, if you're having your co-stars basically co-sign this, they just, you know, you're, they're basically witness accounts, let's just say, that they saw all of this going on and that she is being really just drawn out for her behavior and how awful she's being in hypocrisy you know even si- even um yeah. naya rivera said sorry not sorry she wrote of her experience with michelle as satana, as satana moved on from a background character to one with bigger plot lines and more screen time i think rachel i mean leah didn't like sharing the spotlight if i'd complained about anything or she'd assumed that i was bitching about her soon she started to ignore me and eventually got to the point where she didn't say a word to me for all of season six so there was obviously some tension between Naira um, and Leah and Leah Michelle and that was ages ago so it seems that obviously this particular person um, Samantha is not the only one like there is plenty of people who are calling her out and this is what it is you've been so quiet for so long as an influencer as a celebrity as an actor as an actress but then suddenly you're posting so long afterwards after so much has happened in this week and a half why are you doing that why is it taking you so long and then you obviously have the hypocrisy of everything that has taken place so yeah that's crazy man i'm so sorry i'm I'm trying to deep everything that she that this girl has said let's read this out again because this is just elamai i remember when you made my first television gig a living hell because i'll never forget i believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity you would shit in my wig amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in hollywood the microaggressions were so deep that it made that person question a career in Hollywood. Like, beyond ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, everybody is drawing her out. She's trending everywhere. And we'll see if she has any kind of rebuttal for what is going on. But let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. So in today's video, obviously, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I have a chase made video for you guys on Leah Michelle. And I know that I don't ever really talk about celebrities. However, I felt like this whole situation is pretty juicy and I have some opinions about it. And I want your guys' opinions on some of the situations going on in this story. Obviously, we'll get into that later in the video. I want to start off by saying um, sorry for my absence. Obviously, I've been gone from YouTube for about 10 days now. And I know that I'm like used to uploading five, six videos a week. But I just felt like during this time, we have so many more important things to focus our time and energy on. And anything that I was going to be uploading to my channel, whether it be chisme related or makeup related, it just is not relevant to what's going on in the world right now. And I feel like we're dealing with just so much injustice in America and it just wasn't right for me to post. So that's why I took a little bit of a break. However, today we found out some good news that we are getting some ju- ju- justice, some justice. And um, I do feel a little bit more positive about things. And I feel like things are going to slowly start making a change. I know we obviously have a long road ahead of us. However, I felt like it's time for me to get back into my, you know, normal uploading as of now because now I can kind of feel a little bit better now that some justice is being served. Um, And yeah, so I'm happy to be back on here. Sorry for my little break. Like I said, I just, anything that I'm going to talk about on my channel is just so irrelevant. And I felt like 
I got to put my time and energy and other things that are going on in the world. So that's why I've been gone. Anyways, y'all, today's story is a little juicy. Of course, as usual, you know, I got my two cents. My two cents are just ready to be thrown all over the place right now. <laughs> if you guys are interested in watching this video, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I do have to apologize. I always have to apologize for something. I drank a 24 ounce coffee. Why 24 ounce? I don't know, before filming this, and it's currently three o'clock in the morning. So if I talk really fast, if I ramble, if I stutter while reading some of these tweets and statements, I apologize um, because that coffee is like low key, it's getting to me, you know? So I apologize, but I'll try to slow it down because I know I talk way too fast. Anyways, let me shut up. There I go rambling already. Let me shut up and let's go ahead and jump on into the video. All right, before we get into it, just in case you guys did not know who Leah Michelle is or Leah Michelle, she is from Glee. She played the character Rachel Berry. I have to look down at my little notes right here because to be quite honest with you, I never paid attention to Glee whatsoever. I don't know why. I'm just not really into musicals. I know a gay that's not into musicals. What? I'm just not into it, you know? However, I have heard for years now that Leah Michelle is a very difficult person to work with and she's very condescending and she speaks down to several people. I just heard that she is just not a good person, you know? Um, from rumors, but everything that I have read has been in like People Magazine or like US, or US Weekly or whatever it's called. Like little gossip magazines, you know what I'm saying? However, nothing really made the traction that it's making now. So I was just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna cover the story because let me tell you, I have a little bit, not not a little bit i have a huge pet peeve like literally i think it's my number one pet peeve when people think that they're better than you when people talk down to you when people you know kind of just have a condescending tone towards you and i'm just not for it i just don't like basically what it is like what bothers me is i feel like celebrities i feel like you know even influencers popular influencers they feel like they're just so up here and everyone else is down here and i don't like that type of mentality so i like that this story is getting some traction because quite a few people had a lot to say about leah michelle and i was just kind of like hold up i heard about this years ago and no one ever said anything again however stuff is actually popping off now so if you guys did not know on june 1st this is when everything basically started so one of her co-stars i believe her full name is samantha ware how However, on Instagram, I mean, the Twitter, she goes by Sammy Ware. She quote tweeted one of Leah Michelle's um, tweets about Black Lives Matters. And it just kind of like, she was like, oh, hold on, no, no, girl. I'm not going to have it. And she put her on blast. And y'all, as of right now, this is two days later, it got 478,000 likes and 106,000 retweets. Like this full on went viral and rightfully so, because people need to know Leia, she ain't really that nice of a person, right? Anyways, this is the tweet that Leia came out with. She said, George Floyd, George Floyd did not deserve this. This was not an isolated incident and it must end. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Now, Sammy Ware quote tweeted this and she just said, you know what? I'm gonna spill all the beans, girl. Like, don't be fake. Don't act like you're a people person. Don't act like you're for the people. She said, laugh my ass off. Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would sh in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. And let me tell y'all a little quick, quick, quick little backstory about me. When I was doing makeup for the longest, like um, working in the field, you know, I would do several um, fashion shows, right? But very minor fashion shows, none for any big companies or anything like that. And working with the models that I worked with, <laughs> y'all, they were rough. They were just so rude, so condescending and just Ugh, like the attitude was just not for me and actually two fashion shows i literally just left i was like nope i'm not taking this tone the way that they talk to me it's just not for me you know so it's funny that she puts in the end of it she questioned her career in hollywood because everyone has always asked me would you want to do makeup on celebrities and i've always said no because i have this perception about a lot of celebrities that are just so rude and so condescending and they speak down on people because they feel like they're better than them you know what i'm saying so i don't like that and i've heard that for years now about leah michelle that she's like that so it's kind of cool maybe cool is not the right word to use but it's good to see her you know be spoken about this or be people being spoken about this in public because she needs to know what she's doing she needs to know that what she's doing is not cool and she needs to put some check on it however she did issue a statement about it um or an apology i guess i should say but this is where i really want your guys two cents about her apology but before we get into the apology 
I want to read other people's tweets, you know? So there was one other person who had commented. She took the quote as well, too, who actually was an actor on Glee, too. And she said, girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. So she literally said, F you, Leia. But literally the full word, she didn't put F you, Leia. She put she spelled it out, you know? And I was just like, dang, just in case you guys do not know who she is, she goes by Debier, I believe, official Debier on Twitter. Um, These are people that I actually search for to see, like, if they have, like, a little, like, WebMD and things like that. So there are people that actually worked on Glee. This is no, like, fake stuff. So they are putting it out there. Um, There was also another girl who worked with her. I don't know how because I read this from U.S., uh, um, what is this? USmagazine.com. And it didn't put on there, well, at least to my knowledge, unless I overread it, where they worked together. However, she is a Dancing with the Stars alumni. Um, so anyways, this is her quote on Leah Michelle. Let me be very clear. Hate is a disease in America that we are trying to cure, so I would never wish for hate to be spread on anyone else. With that said, was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. For Leia to treat others with disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. So I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. Like everyone's just popping off on her. Those are three known people that have stories to tell about her and how rude and condescending and disrespectful she is and how difficult she is to work with. So I'm kind of like... Good. You know, a lot of people have things to say about this. A lot of tweets that I were reading like far down below. Why are you coming about this now? Why are you barely bringing this up? What's the point of bringing this up now? And the thing is, you guys, everyone has their breaking point in life. And something that affected you 10 years ago, you may not just like, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But you will may wake up one day and just be like, you know what? I'm tired of this. You know, I'm tired of holding back my feelings. I never said what I should have said back then. So I'm gonna let it out there now. I know I've done that. And maybe, you know, it may be a little bit too late. However, in this scenario, I feel like Leia has some lessons to learn. So I feel like it's never too late to learn these lessons in life. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys her um, apology. This is where I really want y'all's two cents because I'm kind of like, is this really an apology? I don't I don't know. And actually, one of her former um, understudies for a show that she did on Broadway commented on there too. And... <laughs> We'll get into that after reading her apology because her apology annoys me. Anyways, here we go. This is from Leia Michelle's Instagram. I am a couple of months from becoming a... Oh, no, no, that's the back end. My bad, wrong part. One of the most important lessons of the last few weeks is that we need to take the time to listen and learn about other people's perspectives. Keep that in mind, the perspectives, okay? And any role we have played or anything we can do to help address the injustices that they face. When I tweeted the other day, it was a moment to be... Wait, hold on. Yeah, it was a moment to be a show of support for our friends and neighbors and communities of color during this really difficult time. But the responses I have received to what I have posted have made me also focus specifically on how my own behavior towards fellow cast members was perceived by them. She just keeps on saying perceive, you know, and it's just kind of like, huh. So if I'm really rude to somebody, I'm like, oh, you perceive me that way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You perceive me that way. That's the way I take it. Y'all let me know. We'll finish. Okay. While I don't remember ever making this specific statement and I have never judged others by their background or color of their skin, that's not really the point. What matters is that I clearly acted in ways which hurt other people, whether it was my privileged position and perspective that caused me to be perceived as insensitive or inappropriate at times, or whether it was just my immaturity and me just being unnecessarily difficult. I apologize for my behavior and for any pain which I have caused. We all can grow and change, and I have definitely used these past several months to reflect on my own shortcomings. I'm a couple months from being becoming a mother, and I know I need to keep working to better myself and take responsibility for my actions so that I can be a real role model for my child and so I can pass along my lessons and mistakes so that they can learn from me. I listen to these criticisms, and I am learning, and while I'm very sorry, I will be better in the future from this experience. Now, like I said, keep in mind about the perspective part because I just really feel that's kind of like... You know, if you perceive me that way, that's just your, you know, perspective. I feel like she's just not really being receptive to the criticism. I don't feel like she's owning it. I feel like she is just low-key deflecting by saying that's your perception. And 
it's funny because before I even knew about this comment, I was already thinking that when I read the um her her p- apology, I was just kind of like, girl, why do you keep you said perceived inside there like four times? Like, stop, okay. Anyways, so this is from um Gerard, and he actually was an understudy with her on Broadway. <laughs> Seems to have been Mo, because hold on, let me tell you. He made a comment and then it was deleted. It mysteriously went away. Y'all know. <laughs> and you know what? She probably saw it right away too because he's verified on there. So I probably topped at the put at the top because y'all know how Instagram just, you know, makes the verified comments at the top. Seems to have been deleted. So I'll try again. You were nothing but a nightmare to me and fellow understudy cast members. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. I don't know what that means exactly. Maybe availability, I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others perceive you. You'll probably just delete this though. And I saw that and I was just kind of like, wait, 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 hold up. Now, other people agree with me on that because I was just kind of like, how does she keep on saying perceive me? That I just don't agree with. I feel like, girl, take accountability for what you are. Say, I'm sorry. I was a bad person back then. Everybody makes mistakes. Everyone does dumb things. Everyone says dumb things. Everyone acts in a way. Y'all, we all have those bad days. And I feel like that's okay. But own it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's so hard for people these days to be wrong maybe it's because they're scared you know and i understand but at the end of the day we all make mistakes but grow from them be receptive to people's criticism of you it's very important for your soul to grow you know that's just my two cents though however all because all of this y'all just in case you guys did not see and ironically enough this is just the most ironic thing to me. I should have took a screenshot of it. I was just over there scrolling through on Facebook and I got like, you know, a little ad for Hello Fresh and Leah Michelle was on there. This was like maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. Tell me why y'all there was one like on there. One like. And I was like, this is weird. Like what? Hold on. I'm going to like click on this post. You know what I should have done? They probably deleted it though. I clicked on it the next day to see and tell me why it had two likes. I was like, either HelloFresh is not doing their marketing right, or people just don't really like Leah Michelle on Facebook anyways, because they do like her on Instagram, because she got millions of followers, and she gets hundreds of thousands of likes and stuff anyways. Anyways, she was a sponsored person by HelloFresh. So somebody tweeted to at HelloFresh, and they wrote back immediately. They were on this. Um, So someone said on Twitter, at HelloFresh should probably cut ties with at Leah Michelle. It's only a matter of time before people stop buying your products because you support her. So they literally wrote back within 10 minutes. HelloFresh does not condone racism nor discrimination of any kind. We are disheartened and disappointed to learn the recent claims concerning Leah Michelle. We take this very seriously and have ended our partnership with Leah Michelle effective immediately. So they ended up dropping her from this like, Y'all, literally, like, within the same day that this was all popping off, she barely came out with her um, apology today. However, obviously, it's too late. Um, HelloFresh already cut her. So, I want to know you guys' two cents on it. Do you guys feel like that was really an apology, you know? I think that it sucks sometimes because let's keep it really real. Like I said before, and I always stand by this, I'm just a firm believer in everyone can change. Um, And I feel like even if she was a terrible person in the past, she could become a better person. And I feel like she needs to be, obviously, so she can be a good role model to her child. Um, I feel like it sucks that everything gets blown up so much. Like I had mentioned, that tweet had like 478,000 likes on it. So everything becomes so public. But sometimes dealing with a public figure, you need to be put on blast so that way you can be humbled. And I just kind of wish she was more receptive to how people were about her. Because don't you feel like it's very rare for four people And those are just four people who came forward. Who knows about the other people that are staying silent because they don't want to ruin jobs. They don't want people to think that they're difficult. They don't want people to think that they're going to expose them. So these are just four people who came forward. Obviously, they felt some type of way about her. So there must be some truth about it, in my personal opinion. Anyways, y'all, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. I felt like this was like a juicy story because I was just kind of like, I just don't like when people feel like they're just like up here and better than. And it feels like, She was just so condescending towards everybody, like everybody. And um, I just hope that this wakes her up. Like her losing her partnership should really give her a reality check. But y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.
Cleveland Hicks Jr. back here with Clever News, and the Leah Michelle drama continues as we get more details about what went down. If you've been wondering what exactly transpired on the set of Glee regarding Leah Michelle's treatment toward her castmates, you're in luck because Samantha Ware just went into full-fledged detail. Pop the popcorn and put on the tea because we have a lot to discuss. If you've been keeping up with the news over the past week, you've probably heard about how Hollywood has seemingly banded together to dismantle Leah Michelle's reputation and call out her horrible behavior towards her castmates. It seems every day more and more celebrities have come forward with their own experiences about the way Leah treated them at one point. But after her Glee co-star Samantha Ware tweeted about the situation, it left fans wondering what actually went down on set. Two weeks ago when Leah tweeted in support of Black Lives Matter after George Floyd's death, Samantha exposed her in a fiery response that started it all, alleging Leah had told her she would in her wig, among many other traumatic microaggressions. Samantha's tweet sparked an uproar among Hollywood, as many other celebrities as well as Glee regulars and extras also came forward. Leah has since come forward with an apology, which was also met with criticism as she claims she doesn't remember ever making those specific statements and how her behavior was perceived by her castmates. It has also been reported that Leah is now seeking behavioral help and is working on patching things up with their former co-stars, but we'd all be lying if we tried to say we weren't the least bit curious to know what all went down between Leah, Samantha, and any other cast members who suffered a traumatizing experience. Lucky for us, Samantha spilled some serious tea on the entire situation, and I'm talking like Boston Tea Party amounts of tea dumping. In an interview with Variety earlier this week, Samantha detailed her experience working with Leah, saying that she knew from day one when she stepped onto the Glee set in 2015 that she was strongly disliked by her. She said, quote, there was nothing gradual about it. As soon as she decided that she didn't like me, 